Hello, Kekka's Boy here, and today we are talking about Soul, the latest release from Disney and Pixar. Now, this was supposed to be a big release landing in theaters, but because of all the reshuffling going around, it landed on Disney Plus this Christmas. Now, I do have to say that it being on Disney Plus is a good thing for me, because otherwise, I probably wouldn't have seen it. Now, that isn't to say that I'm not a fan of Disney films and Pixar films and animation in general. I mean, I am me. But let's just say that me experiencing animation in theaters, particularly of this type, I haven't had the best experience with that in recent years. Well, because it was a Disney Pixar film and it was on Disney Plus, I was able to see it sooner rather than later. Now, star Jimmy Fox as a music teacher, Joe Gardner, whose dreams of making it big in the world of jazz have been crushed time and time again, but just as he's finally getting his big break, he finds his life taken far before his time, as he would say. Now, thinking that this big break is the start of his actual life, he refuses to pass on and ends up arriving at the great before, the place where souls get their spark before they arrive in the living world. It's here where he's introduced to Tina Fey's spirit number 22, a spirit just on the verge of entering the world of the living, who doesn't really see what all the fuss is all about. This is a film that offers exploration about what it means to be alive and what it means to live. Discussing themes of identity, about our views of the world around us, the balance between obsession and passion. Through these two characters, one trying desperately to get back to their life and fully realize what he believes he should be doing, Another character not even seeing what the point of living is and just wanting to exist as a spirit with no true goals and aspirations, we see where Pixar's talents really do lie. Uh, it deals with obsession versus passion. It deals with exploring these things we get trapped into in adulthood. Because that's what this all is about. Most of Pixar's films really are adults films that kids can also enjoy, and this feels like that more than most of their other ones. This film is about the characters discovering who they are, what their purpose is, what life is, through music, through art, through all the little things going on, and I don't want to really delve too far into it, and this is a film that you really should experience for yourselves. It's also a film that really showcases black characters. It showcases black music. It does a lot of things that are lacking, I feel, in animation today. There are a couple out there, and they should be supported when they're done well. And this done well. It does have its slapstick. It still has its funny little pieces that are just for kids. But at its heart, this is teaching lessons that people need to learn and experience and you should go and see this. This thing is a triumph. I'd say it's one of Pixar's best films and the film is really vibing. Now I'm just saying go out there if you have Disney Plus watch it. Uh, Mandalorian is going to be waiting for another year before that comes back out. So, you got Dizzy Plus, use it for something, use it for this. Well, anyway, this Kekka's Boy saying, I enjoyed it, watch it, you're gonna enjoy it, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye. Thanks for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed the video though. Press subscribe so you're notified when I upload again.